Hi everybody, it's Corey at More Music in Evansville, Indiana and MoreGuitars.com. I am really pleased to show off today the Fender American Professional 2 Jazz Bass. Uh, this is a model that just came out. Uh, everyone knows the American Professional. Uh, it replaced the American Standard uh, years ago. It's been about five or six years since they upgraded, so they decided to upgrade these guitars. I'm really glad they did. Uh, the other guitars, uh, the American Pros, fantastic instruments. Uh, they just refined these uh, a bit more, still at around the same price point uh, as, as the American Professional, uh, just with upgraded. Uh, let's take a look at, at this particular model. This is the Natural Roasted Pine, uh, features a maple neck, uh, really well done maple neck. It has a gloss finish on the top and on the headstock. It has a satin finish on the back, very smooth, uh, feels great, um, even perspiring, uh, you're not going to get sticky uh, or anything like that, really nice feeling neck. One thing that uh, they've done, they've continued with the uh, modern C profile on this neck, uh, but now it has rounded fingerboard edges. This feels really comfortable in your hand. There's no, no longer that hard break over on the edge of the fingerboard. Uh, you can really feel a difference. It feels like a broken, more vintage uh, instrument. Uh, also features a nine and a half inch fingerboard radius. Uh, which is uh, what they've been doing for quite a while now. They've got the Fender Ultralight tuners on here. Dropped a little bit of weight. Uh, this thing is super light. I want to talk about the body a little bit. This is made of roasted pine, so they have uh, found out that, that they can't get enough swamp ash uh, or ash that is lightweight enough and uh, aesthetically pleasing enough to make enough instruments. So they've done away with ash across everything but their American Original Series and their Custom Shop Series. So what they're using now is roasted pine. So they take this uh, pine body, which is what uh, Leo in, uh, initially used on the first Fender instruments, uh, and they've roasted it. Some people call it torrefaction or torrefied. Uh, pine body. This one is beautifully done. It is a book matched piece of pine and when we were taking a look at this instrument I thought man this is a one piece which you don't see very often because the grain matches up so well. Come to find out it is a two piece body but it, it has been done extremely well. The fit and finish on this is really outstanding. Some things that they've done to improve the American Professional, they get now give you a, a tapered neck heel, which makes it a lot more comfortable if you're playing up top, uh, even if you've got smaller hands like mine, and uh, as we like to call this, uh, little guy with the big guitar segment. Um, my fingers uh, feel very, very comfortable up, up high on this instrument, which is not typical. Uh, of most fenders. Uh, they've upgraded the pickups. It is still a V-Mod pickup, so you have Alnico 2 and Alnico 5 magnets uh, placed in this for a different sound. The Alnico 2 has a little bit lower output. Alnico 5 has a little bit uh, brighter output on it. These uh, vary in range uh, I think you've got uh, about 7K ohms out of the bridge pickup and 7.5K ohms out of the, the uh, neck pickup. Uh, traditional jazz, play, uh, jazz bass placement on these. Uh, does have access to the truss rod right here. I would like to make a request to Fender, please stop putting them at the, at the heel of the neck. Um, <laughs> this one is accessible using uh, the rounded Fender Allen wrench without marring the pick guard. Uh, I like to use a rag and place a rag on the pick guard before I adjust the truss rod on these. Um, but it would be really nice if they would just stick them up here, flip the truss rods around. My only problem with this guitar uh, does have a very nice high quality bridge. The bridge on these, you're able to string through the body, 
or through the bridge itself uh, does it does have a, a little difference in tone. Um, some players prefer the the added sustain and resonance of stringing through the body. I would be one of those players. Um, some players like a little slinkier feel uh, to the string, so uh, to have less breakover on the bridge, you can uh, load this up right through the bridge and have a little slinkier feel. Uh, the sounds on this are very traditional, yet extremely modern. Uh, the tone control uh, is a treble roll off, works very, very well. Let's, uh, let's play around on this thing a little bit and we'll discover some of the tones. So uh, where I have it now is Let's go both pickups all the way up, tone control up. All right, here's with the tone control rolled all the way off. Now we'll roll the tone control all the way back up. We're going to feature the uh, the middle middle position, or uh, you could call it the neck position, jazz bass pickup. Here's that neck position with the tone rolled all the way down. All right, let's feature the bridge pickup now with the tone control all the way up. the tone control rolled all the way off on the bridge position. Lots of sounds can be had just using the tone control. Uh, here is a little bit of slapping on here. Uh, one position that I really like uh, is both pickups on and the tone control rolled down to about 70% with a slap sound. It really brings out uh, a lot of punch and kind of calms uh, some of the harsher overtones that may be present. So lots that can be done with this guitar. Uh, I have always been a, a, an ash body, maple neck, P bass kind of guy. The, the last few jazz basses I've played from Fender, the American Pro 2 and the American Performer series, uh, almost have me converted to uh, uh, becoming a jazz bass player. They have a certain roundness uh, that uh, uh, is harder to find in a precision bass. Uh, they also have a lot more top end zing to them. Uh, if you run through a preamp, this is going to sound great with uh, uh, those frequencies accentuated. Uh, great feeling, great playing bass. Uh, check out moreguitars.com. You'll find this and many other basses right there. Thanks so much for joining me. <laughs>